Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. Here's the problem I'm going to be showing you how to do today, but here's the cool part about it. We're going to do this without ever having to take a derivative or implicit differentiation or anything like that. So what we're going to be doing is finding the equation of a tangent line that is tangent to the circle x minus 2 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 25 at the point 5, 3. And we're going to do it without ever having to take a derivative. So I'll show you how to do that. Before I get into how to solve this, I do just want to take a second to talk about this uh, equation of this circle here. So in general, this is the form that a circle, the equation of a circle would be written in, where this circle is centered at the point x0, y0, and the radius is r. So what that tells us is if we compare this to this equation here, what we have here is a circle which is centered at the point 2, negative 1, and has a radius of five. So when you're solving an, a problem like this, where we're trying to find the tangent line equation to the circle, we're doing it, you could do this by taking the derivative, but I'm showing you the, the kind of trick here that can help you avoid having to take a derivative or apply implicit differentiation or anything like that. In order to do it, what you would wanna do is, let's think about what this would look like on a graph. So first, let's start by sketching out this circle and putting that point on our graph. So here is what, uh, our circle, at least a portion of our circle, would look like if we graphed it, right? We have the center of our circle here at 2, negative 1, and then we have this point that we're trying to find a tangent line to this circle that goes through this point. So we need to find the equation of a line that would go something like this, right? This line is tangent to this circle at that point. So in order to find the equation of this line, like I said, we could take implicit differentiation applied to this circle here and go about it just like I have in some of my other videos uh, about tangent line equations. But what we can instead do is think about the line that goes from the center of this circle to this point that we're trying to, you know, look at the tangent line at that point. So let's think about this line for a second. If we look at this line, this line that goes, since it goes from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle, if we compare it to this tangent line, we know that these lines are going to be perpendicular to each other. What that means is if you have two lines that are perpendicular, their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. So if we can find the equation of this line that connects the center of our circle to this edge point of our circle, all we have to do is take the negative reciprocal of that line slope, and that will be the slope of this tangent line that we're looking at. So how do you do that? Well, in general, the slope of a line, you can find by knowing two points that lie on that line. All you have to do is take y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where x1, y1, and x2, y2 are two points that lie on this line. So if we know 5, 3, and negative, or 5, 3, and 2, negative 1 are two points that lie on this line, we could use, you know, we'll say this point is our first point and this point is our second point. We can use the xy coordinates of those two points to figure out the slope of this line. So plugging those in into this equation here, we can get y2, which we're saying this is our second point. So the y value of our second point, which is 3, minus the y value of our first point, which is negative 1, over the x value of our second point, which is 5 minus the x value of our first point, which is 2. So this will give us the slope of this line, which will be 3 minus negative 1 is the same as 3 plus 1, which is 4. And then 5 minus 2 is 3. So the slope of this line is 4 thirds, which means the slope of our tangent line would be the negative reciprocal of that, which is negative 3 fourths. So we know the slope of our tangent line needs to be negative 3 fourths. So to get the full equation of this tangent line, we can use the point slope form, which would be y equals m times x minus x0 plus y0, where m is our slope, and then we know that this line goes through the point x0, y0. So if we put negative 3 fourths in for our slope, 
then all we need to do is replace our x0 and y0 with an x and y coordinate of a point that we know lies on this line. Well, we know that this point 5, 3 lies on our line, so we can put that in for our x0, y0. 5 is the x coordinate and 3 is the y coordinate. So now we have this equation, which we could then just simplify, which would be negative 3 fourths x, and then plus 15 over 4 plus 3, which would just simplify down to 3 would be the same as 12 over 4. So 15 over 4 plus 12 over 4 would just give us 27 over 4. So this would be the equation of our tangent line right here. y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 27 over 4. And that's it. No derivatives necessary.